The day begins early and ends late for 10-year-old Konstantin and 16-year-old Julius. Breakfast is at 7 under the watchful eye of their house mistress. Attention please. I would like you all to wear jackets this morning because it's a bit chilly, though the weather's supposed to be nice again later. Otherwise, I wish you all a good school day. According to the roster, Kraupa, Faya, Kuna and Meinert have to clear up. Thank you. The younger boys take turns clearing up after meals. The chore is also used as a disciplinary measure. If someone arrives late without a good excuse, for example. Konstantin and Julius always have their eye on the clock. Like all the choristers, they have made it through a tough selection process. Today, auditions for admission are being held at the Villa Tomana. They have to demonstrate musical talent, above all in singing, of course. Then we examine two or three pieces on an instrument before we start assessing whether the candidate has the ability to juggle the musical and academic demands at the boarding school. It's a difficult call to make, but we have some experience. Hello, I'm Josef Kaspar Georgi. And I would like to sing you something by Johann Sebastian Bach. It's called Kommt Seelen dieser Tag. The choir just sang that. The best applicants are accepted into the choir age 9 or 10. Conductor Georg Christoph Biller also auditioned as a young boy. It's something you don't forget. I remember clearly introducing myself in June 1965, and when I sang, it was by Bach, and I had to sight sing Herr Christentum ergeben, was ich nicht nehmen kann, by Johannes Eckhart. The musical exam is followed by an academic test, dictation with Thoralf Schulze. The young hopefuls have to wait 10 days for the verdict. Those who make it into the choir can't let their standards slip. The best are appointed as prefects, assist the conductor, and oversee smaller rehearsals. Julius is trying on his jacket in the uniform room. Seamstress Katrin Glöckner has known him for years. That's the nice thing. They join the choir, and they come here as shy little mice, and they grow and flourish. It's nice to see them growing up. For example, Julius is a lovely, lovely young man. Today, as is often the case, the choir is rehearsing Johann Sebastian Bach, the Ascension Oratorio. For their upcoming concert, the choir will also perform a composition by their conductor, making it a very special occasion. A few streets away, well-known former choir boys have their own rehearsal space. They're part of the vocal ensemble Amarcord. Founded two decades ago, it successfully tours all over the world. During the Bach Festival, they will perform together with the St. Thomas Choristers, presenting the work by conductor Georg Christoph Biller. The special thing about the piece is definitely that we're performing a piece with the St. Thomas Choir Boys composed by the St. Thomas Musical Director. That's very exciting for us.